Kelly Sparta again for Spirit Sherpa Minis. And today I'm going to tell you a story. So I, I can't remember if I've told this story or not. So if you're listening to the podcast and you're like, yeah, you told this story before, well, you know, I'm going to tell it again, but it has new information. So I would stick around because the new information is like, holy crap. Okay. So in late 2019, I want to say like September, October, 2019, there were a bunch of baby witches on witch talk and TikTok who decided that because somebody told them that they could not curse the moon, that they were going to do it. Not realizing that, that they didn't understand what they had been told. And so I did not know this. I was not on TikTok at the time. And so I didn't know about this until January. Now, in January, one of my students came to me and said, um, so this has happened. Did you hear about it? And I'm like, no, but it explains a lot. And she's like, why? I said, well, I've had this sense for several months that everybody's batting down the hatches, that literally they're, everybody's hiding underneath these big uh, canvas cloths that are bat, you know, battened down to the, the deck plates and that they're hiding from the storm. And I said, and I've got one over me too. And I'm not sure what's going on because I haven't been able to find a source for it. I've been looking for it and I haven't found the source for it. And she said, well, they cursed the moon. And I was like, oh God, stupidity, yay. Ignorance, yay, right? So, you know, this is fair warning. If one of your elders says you can't do something, it's, it doesn't mean you can't. It means that it won't work the way you think it will, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't like set your intention and make it go. It just means it's not gonna work the way that you think it will, which is exactly what happened with this, okay? So let me tell you what actually happened. What actually happened was they got together a whole group of them and decided to curse the moon. Okay, sure, great, fine, wonderful. The moon is a planetary body. Let's talk about that for a beginning thing. And you know, the, the amount of energy it takes to actually impact the moon would be massive. So let's start with that, you know? And, and secondly, how do we see the moon? We see the moon in reflection. The moon is reflecting the sunlight. It is not its own power source. It is a reflection of the sunlight. And so guess what happens when you curse the freaking moon? It reflects back to the earth. Mm. Okay. Now, third thing. Yay. Every magical practitioner who has a multiplier in their energy shields that says, if I feel an attack, it goes back to the person that sent it to me threefold or tenfold or a hundredfold or whatever it was. Their shields, when that hit the big, now, when it reflected back from the moon, because the moon was so far away, the reflection was really wide. And therefore it hit the entire planet that it was face that part of the planet that was facing the moon at the time the curse bounced back and so it hit every magical practitioner's shields that had a multiplier and everybody else too but the multipliers are the relevant point here the reflectors are the relevant point here uh, anybody who had a reflective shield up that curse then hit bounced and occasionally amplified and went back to the moon, which then reflected it back again. And this went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, amplifying each time. Is it any freaking wonder that life got hard? Now, at the time that my student mentioned this, we were three months into it. 
And I went up and I looked and I could see the waves going back and forth between the earth and the moon. And I realized that there was no way I could stop that. It was too strong. So what I did was I sent a carrier wave across it. Thank God my ex-husband was a oceanographic engineer and we had discussed waveforms and how waves cancel each other out because that's how I knew how to do this. <laughs> so, but I sent another, uh, I sent a wave across the, the curses that were bouncing back and forth and I disrupted them. And I, and that caused it to stop finally. Now, if you have any doubt that this happened, what's very interesting is that probably, I don't know, six months later, I was doing a reading with Colin Holland and he did a reading for me. And he said, hmm, this is very interesting. I said, what? He said, the moon is offering her support to you. I've never, that's never happened. I, I've never even heard of that happening. And I said, well, funny story. <laughs> And he's like, oh, okay, well, that makes perfect sense because, you know, the moon couldn't stop it herself. And so, you know, she was like, thank you. I'm like, okay. So that's the, the I, you can't make this shit up, man. Okay. Now that's the story, right? Now, if, if I've told it before, then you've heard it, but here's the next piece. Do you remember when I said this happened? Do you remember me saying I dissipated the curse and not saying I cleared it because I didn't think to clear it at the time. All I was worried about was stopping the insanity and then putting a helmet on the kids who had done it because I needed to stop them from doing that again. And oh, by the way, they cursed the fairies at the same time. So I had to go and make negotiation with the fairies too, because yeah. So I was dealing with cleaning up the damage. I forgot to clear the curse. Now, this was late 2019. Want to th guess how the curse manifested? TikTok children, thank you for the pandemic. Because that's how the curse manifested. And so if you listen to the last uh, mini that I did, where I talked about how to clear COVID, the reason that it exists as something that possesses you but doesn't have consciousness is because it's a freaking curse manifesting. That's energetically what COVID is. That's what it's... That's why it is the way it is. And I went and I cleared it now because I remembered. I'm like, fuck, I didn't do that. Okay. But when your elders tell you that you cannot do something, do not get it in your mind to say, oh, yes, I can watch me. Because this shit is what happens. This is more catastrophic than most I've ever seen. But this shit is what happens, okay? This is why it's so important to study and to learn before you try to do stuff and to get out of your ego because ego is what made them do this. If they weren't in their egos, they would have been told you can't do this and they went, would have gone, oh, okay, I don't know why, but I'm gonna trust that there's a reason why and then I'll figure it out later as I learn more, right? That would have been the intelligent thing to do. And that also would have been the non-ego based thing to do. So I'm just saying, you are sovereign beings. You can do as you will, but there is a price to be paid for it. And you are not always the only person to pay that price. A million people died. More than a million people have died. Yeah. So think carefully before you do things that you're told you shouldn't or can't do. 
That's all I'm saying. Okay. And that ends our tale of horror and woe for the day. Uh, if you are interested in hearing more about this, like and subscribe and rate whatever you're hearing on this podcast. And I would love to hear from you if you found this useful. Uh, and if you are hearing this and you are one of the TikTok babies who were uh, involved in this and you want to know why you can't access your psychic skills, you can come in and negotiate with me to get them back because I fixed it. Because until you can be responsible with it, I can't let you have them because you've done damage. So there we go. Like, subscribe, rate, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.